friends in this lecture we are going to learn the max ifs and min ifs and this these two works just like average ifs and sum ifs or sum ifs what happened here is that only thing it it gives us the maximum value from a selected criteria or more number of criteria as you can see here now let us see one is shop number 13 let us find out the maximum cost per unit for whatever the product sold in shop number 13 you see here we are having dates then certain shops are there and in shops there are products that have been sold and the quantity sold and price of cost of per unit item that has been sold here is given there so we have to find out the minimum cost or maximum cost in the first case we are having maximum cost so let us do write down equal to and x if s bracket open and our maximum range is and put a comma then after that criteria range our first criteria is shop we'll select control shift down arrow and put a comma here and then in inverted commas we'll write down s13 inverted commas close and enter and the minimum cost is 350 rupees for shop number 13 whatever the product has been sold similarly we'll write down again average ifs sorry max ifs now there are two criteria shop number 13 and socks so we'll write down our, our maximum range that is the cost control shift down arrow select the whole cost put a comma and then our criteria is shop number 13 so let us go here and select the shop like this all shops are there comma and then inverted comma we'll write down shop 13 then we'll put a comma here then second criteria our second criteria is socks that means product purchase we'll click on product purchase and control shift down arrow after that we put a comma and inverted commas we'll write down socks and bracket close and the maximum cost of the product sold at this point of time is 150 in the next case we are having three criteria we'll write down equal to max if s and bracket open the first criteria is you see max range we'll select the range from where we have to calculate the cost then put a comma first criteria is shop number 15 so we'll select all the shops we'll go to shop column control shift down arrow select all the columns comma after that we write down inverted commas shop 15 that is shop number 15 then again put a comma and after that the second is t-shirt that means you have to select the product purchase column we'll click in the column and control shift down arrow and put a comma and after that in inverted commas we'll type down t-shirt t-shirt and inverted commas close and then put a comma and then six six is the quantity sold so we'll click on the quantity sold and then shift control down arrow select all put a comma and then we'll write down six and bracket close and enter and the maximum cost is zero that means there is no criteria that fits to these three things that is shop number 15 t-shirt and six you see we are having shop number 15 here and shop number 15 here and but here it is t-shirt but value is three here it is socks and then shop number 15 no there is no shop number 15 yes shop number 15 is there socks there is no t-shirt here so it do not fits our criteria let us try out min ifs it will work similarly to max ifs the only thing is it will give the minimum value for the same of criteria we will check out the minimum value here we will again we know that 6 do not means anything instead of this 3 we can write down type down 3 here and press enter we can also do one thing we will write down uh, in, the, in the formula we will go and double click or fx and in the fx we need not to write down s15 like this we have to select this where f15 is written then no need to write down t-shirt delete it and select the cell where t-shirt is written that is h6 and then no need to write down 6 here delete it and select this 3 and press ok now you see answer is there and if in the 3 you write down 6 the answer is 0 so we are going to follow the mini face also like this we will write down equal to bracket open select our mini range shift control down arrow put a comma 
then our criteria as 13 we'll click below the shop control all control shift down not control all and then a comma and then we'll select s13 right and then bracket close f13 is means g10 and enter it is 150 now we'll do second minimum for s13 and socks so we know for s13 maximum is 350 and minimum is 150 now s13 socks again let us try to find out the minimum we'll write down equal to we'll write down min if s bracket open then we'll select the range this is our range after that we put a comma you see i am also showing at this point of time if you find it difficult to follow this pattern you can go on the top mini face and click on fx now fx window is there in the mini face is there some criteria first criteria is our first criteria is s13 we'll select the shop column control shift down arrow then criteria is s13 we'll go to s13 this and select s13 here then criteria range to criteria is second socks that means we have to select the product purchase column we will go and select the product purchase column here then criteria 2 is socks so we will go and click on the socks right here h11 ok now our minimum cost for this is also 150 let us try the third one that is s15 t-shirt and three products being sold we will write down equal to min if s bracket open and then we will click on the fx here on the top now min range min range let us click on column e the column is selected after that our criteria range our first criteria is s15 we will select the shop column then our first criteria is s15 we will click on s15 that is g12 right and then criteria range 2 our second criteria is t-shirt so let us click on the go on the top and click on this like this we select the whole column for product purchase and then criteria range 2 in criteria range 2 I will select the click on t-shirt now t-shirt is there and then I will stalk it a little bit criteria range 3 3 is for the quantity sold I will click on the column quantity sold and then I go to criteria and the criteria I select 3 and have ok right so my minimum cost is 300 here now one thing is if I click instead of 3 I click 6 here you see the answer is 0 we remember there was no case where in shop 15 there are t-shirts sold and 6 units are sold there was no venue like this so answer is 0 if instead of 6 we write down 3 it is 3 now if in place of t-shirts I down socks I can have the answer for the socks answer is 0 in this way we can use maxfs and minifs